Hey, how's it going? My name's Michael, and um, I I told myself that I would start a project this year, and I'm calling it the um, My Life Story in 12 Months. And so once a month, maybe twice a month, I'll, I'll do a video um, and, and tell you a story about me and see where it goes. Um, I decided to do this over video blog because I, I hate to write. Um, and I think the best way I communicate is by telling stories. And so I'm going to tell a story to you. Uh, it's something that happened to me not, not too long ago. I was with my kids. It was, um, it was a wonderful middle of the week afternoon if you try to be dramatic in this whole thing. But it was in the middle of the week. I don't know, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, pick, a, pick a day. Pick a his afternoon. It was right at uh, 11 or 12 because we were going to lunch. And uh, we had just got done at the motorcycle shop and did some uh, sizing for my kids. My son is, he's uh, four and a half and just finished his second ice race. Um, he's kicking ass is what he's doing. He's having fun. It's, it's crazy, not competitive, but it's so much fun for me. It's fun for me. I, he's having a ball. My wife loves it. We're, we have a great time. It's great. But the father has blessed me with watching my son. I can I understand the father's love more for his sons and his daughters when I see that. And so, totally unrelated to my story. But, it's chapter one, right? Anything goes. So, um, I was with my kids. We were, we were um, doing this motorcycle shop deal. Forget it. We're going to lunch. Uh, Subway sound. It's a Subway shop, not Subway. I love Subway. Subway's cool. This was Jimmy John's. I love Jimmy John's a little bit more. Um, they make sandwiches really quick, to the point, simple. Um, I don't have to make a lot of choices. I can point it at something up there and, and it sounds and tastes good and, and they don't ask me too many questions. So I like Jimmy John's. We went to Jimmy John's and uh, Jimmy John's is covered in signs. They have like advertising signs. You know those random signs, kind of like uh, the Cracker Barrel or or this, that, and the other. You're probably going to get tons of food references throughout this 12 months. I love food, and and so we, we'll talk about food. But um, different signs, you know, like you know what I'm saying, random signs. And there was this one random sign that was right above where um, my me and my kids were sitting. And it was a it was a big sign with lots of writing on it. And normally, I probably wouldn't have taken the time to read it. I don't know why I read it, but I began to read this this story. And it was the story of um of this businessman who went down to the Caribbean, and he uh for some reason he got he 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 sat down. And I'm and I'm telling this story, hacking it up, whatever. But you'll get the story. Um, he sat down to dinner with his family and. He begins to eat this dinner and he, he realizes this is the best fish he's ever eaten. And and he's a well-traveled man and he looks he looks at the the head of the table and he and he tells the man, "Where did you where did you get this fish?" And and the man says, "Well, I, I caught it this morning." And the guy says, "You caught it this morning?" He says, "Yeah." And he says, "Well, how long did it take you to catch it?" And he says, hmm, 10 15 minutes." He says, uh, well, tell me more. What does the rest of your day look like? And the guy goes on to tell him. He says, you know, I, I go fishing in the morning and I come home and play with my kids. And, you know, I take a, a siesta in the afternoon with my wife. And, and, and then in the evening we have we have dinner, you know. And, and we normally bring somebody from the village or whatever. And that's how you ended up here. And, and so he... he he tells him this story, and this man, this businessman, it looks like he, his, the light has just come on, and he goes, "Man, uh, let me tell you what, I, I think we could, we could do something here that would really help your family." And he said, "You know, you could, um, you could go out and catch a few extra fish each day, and we could set up an internet shop, and you could sell these fish all over the world, and 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 then you're gonna, you know, you're gonna get orders. This is the best fish I've ever had, and you're gonna get orders, and and then you're gonna have to get." more people to work for you and you're going to have to get fleets and then after you get a fleet and then you can sit back and you can come to LA and we'll do we'll take out the middleman and we'll package it ourselves and all these things and then eventually maybe we can move to New York and I mean we can build an empire around this fishing industry and let me tell you after New York it, it even gets better and, and you can retire and the, the guy says well I mean and the guy's eyes got huge and he says well what happens when I retire, and he says, well, that's the best part. He says, you can then come, you know, you can move to a little fishing village, and you can you can fish, and, and you can, you know, take a siesta with your wife, and 
play with your kids and then you can have a dinner and, and bring everyone home and have dinner with all your family. And, and the guy looks at him and, and it's like, well, how long is that going to take? And he says, well, that's, you know, 30, maybe 35 years or so. That was the story. That was it. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it spoke to me. Um, many of you know me, many of you don't. I've traveled a crazy life. I live in the mountains of Colorado. I work from home. I see my kids every day. Um, they interrupt me. My loving wife brings me coffee and lunch. And um, it, It's not the perfect life. Don't get me wrong. We have our we have our, our fights and arguments and uh, call it what it is. I look out the mountains and see Pikes Peak. I went riding in the mountains today and I seen thirty or forty wild turkey run across the path and I enjoy life. And uh, no matter what your goal is in life. Um, don't give up living to make a living. So, do what you will. This is going to be my project for the year. My life story in 12 months. We'll see you. Peace.